Surah 3. I, I, I don't want to get into the debate really. I just came, you know, I just want to look around, but I okay. can answer quickly if you want to. Okay, very quickly. Yeah. Surah 6. Um, God says, um, Allah says, I do not have um, a companion, therefore I cannot have a son. Is that's that exactly right? what he says. Yeah. That's exactly what he says. I More or less. Exactly. Okay, what does he say? He says something along the lines of, I'm the originator of heavens and earth no. and uh, cannot have a son if I do not have a con companion. No. 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 How can Allah have a son when he doesn't have a companion? Yes. I think that's what he says. That's what he said. Okay. Yeah, he yeah, I say, agree with you. He didn't say, I cannot. That's your words saying that. Yeah, yeah. I cannot have a son. Is Okay. Showing a disability that is what he can't do in corner. Okay. He's asking us a question. Yes. Do you know that Allah doesn't have a companion? Yes. So why you even think that he can have, he okay. should have a son? You know, that's right. what he's saying. Yeah, I, I agree yeah. with you. Yeah. yeah. So, so I didn't mean to put my own words on it. No, that's no, why I'm no, asking yeah, you. No. So Allah is, How can Allah Allah is saying to human beings, he doesn't even have a companion. companion. Okay. So some so, people probably believe that. Pagans believe the gods have. The, the, the female gods and their male gods. One is necessarily talking to Christians, to telling everyone, when anyone has an idea that God can have a female god as well, and female god and gods can have produced children. I think Greek myth mythology believes that, didn't they? So I don't know. It's on, yeah, all I, think, all, I, think Zeus, all I know. Zeus have a wife, isn't it? Yeah. Zeus have a wife, and that's how he has children. But is Allah all powerful? He is all powerful. So could he not have a son if he wanted? Yes, of course he can. Okay. But so what he's saying is, Allah, what you said, Allah doesn't have a son if he if he doesn't have a companion. How can he? How can he have a son if he doesn't have a companion? But then Mary in Surah 347 and Surah 1921, uh, Mary has a son without a companion. Yes. The Quran says that. That's right. But that one, what you earlier said, that's cementing the argument that God doesn't have a son. In any way or form, he doesn't have a son. Even if you think he has a companion. Because he doesn't a have a companion. Yeah. No, that's not exactly what he's saying. Okay, but what he's exactly saying, is it saying? He's not saying what you're saying. He's not saying he can't have children because he doesn't have a companion. He's not saying that. He's saying, he's asking us, asking us to think about it. How can he have a son? even if he doesn't have a companion. That's cementing the position that God cannot have a child. Yeah. But by miracles, God can do anything he wants. But some people, pro you know, some people do believe the God, there are female gods as well, there are male gods. No Christians necessarily believe that. But I'm looking at clearly what the Quran is saying. words into it. No, no, no I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not doing exegesis here. I'm asking you mm -hmm. to do the exegesis. If the Quran says God cannot have a son or God, um, does not have a son because he does not have a companion. He's speaking in her, human terms. That's actually Jesus, what you just said. That's actually Jesus. That you say Quran is saying he doesn't have uh, ch children because he doesn't have a companion. That's the exit Jesus of the words. Okay. And my exit Jesus of the words is because Allah didn't say that. Allah said, How can he have a son when he doesn't even have a companion? Okay. He's asking us okay, I agree to with think you. about the question. So if Allah is saying that, how can he have a son if he doesn't have a companion? How can Mary have a son if she doesn't have a companion? Okay. The first question is the answer to anyone who ponders or think about it, that God has a companion. God can have a companion. It's the answer to them. It's not saying that if God wants to have a child, he cannot have a child. It's not saying that. That's for your exegesis. I, I want to understand the Quran holistically. Allah says, in Allah Allah kulli shayin kadir. Allah has a power over everything. Yeah? So in, in that, I will understand everything about the Quran. So I think that, that is the question Allah wants us to think about. Anyone who, who pondered, especially Hindus. So uh, you know, Hindus, if, uh, Hindus if, believe if Allah is all words, powerful, yeah, he, no, has, no. He, has, he ma has he maintained his word? Is his word pure? Is his word holy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the Bible still stands. Bible is not his word. Who said the Bible is his word? The Quran says the Bible is his word. The Quran doesn't even use the word Bible at all. God says, go and speak to the people of the book. What book are they talking about? People of the book of uh, Torah and Injil. Again and again. So what, what is this? The Bible has a Torah, has Injil. Yeah. He has a book. <laughs> he has letters of Paul. Twelve letters of Paul. He has the writings of the prophets. All confirmed. Yeah. This is Bible means gallery of books. Huh? Gallery of books. This is the, 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 the book that Library was in existence at the time of Muhammad. Muhammad said, go and speak to the people of the book. That was the book canonized no, fully. No, no, no. Yeah. 
that is fully canonized. And you had the Septuagint in Greek, you had the Old Testament in Greek. And what's more, and I've shown you this before, I've shown you Isaiah chapter 9, I've shown you Proverbs chapter 30, where God has a son. And he says his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, where God claims, I have a son. Okay. He says it clearly. So this word, you saying, uh, the Quran doesn't say it's been corrupted. The, the Quran, Quran says Quran, people corrupted Quran it. mentioned the book of Isaiah? I don't know. I don't never. know if you mentioned the Proverbs. Never. never. Yeah, but this is Proverbs no, I'm no. talking about. Genesis, Exodus. Proverbs is not mentioned in the Quran as well. What, what about Genesis? Quran mentioned Torah. Yeah, Genesis. Quran mentions the Buddha. Genesis. No, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Genesis. Yeah, so word for word, what's written in Genesis, do you accept that as... as, as no. Oh. no. No, no, no. So that's been contaminated. Yes. But the Quran no, doesn't say that. That's exactly what Quran says that. No, where? Okay. Quran, for example, your Genesis says, God has created heaven and earth in six days, and he rested the seven days. Yeah. Exodus says, God has created heaven in the six days, and he rested and got refreshed. Genesis, uh, Exodus 31 and Genesis 2. Quran says in chapter, 30, uh, chapter 50 verse 38, Allah has created heaven and earth in six days, and no fatigue has touched him. Yes, and then it also says, it took eight days. You've got a contradiction in the Quran with six we, and eight days. We, we come to that, we come to that. But Quran clearly says that no fatigue has touched him. Exodus says he rested and got refreshed. When you got refreshed? Where does it say that in Exodus? 31, 17. Exodus 31. 17. Yeah. Let's look at the word for word here. Yeah. So here, Quran is telling us the Bible, even Torah has been corrupted. No, that... That, where does the Quran say that? No, 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 no. With this example, say that. with this example, no, that, no, that no, your, that's, Torah, your Torah is that saying that is God, Jesus. No, no, it's not. Yeah, look, you're reading into the okay, okay. Torah. One place it says God has rested and got refreshed. Yes, when you got refreshed, when you got your energy, energy back. No. When, yes. no, 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 yes, yes. No, what about refreshing when you're just enjoying yourself? No, no. I don't need listen, energy listen, back listen now. Listen carefully. Look, rest. you and I go for coffee now. I don't need listen, to listen, listen. rest. Listen, rest and refresh together. Yeah, we you rested and got refreshed. Got refreshed by what? By resting. Yeah. So here is saying somebody got their energy back by rest and refresh. Okay. On the other place, Allah says, Allah created heaven in the six days, and no fatigue has touched him. That's clearly saying God doesn't get tired. God doesn't need anything else. The Bible fatigue. says that. The, God get, the, no, the but Bible you, says. But you just read it. No, no. Listen to me what I'm saying. The Bible says God doesn't uh, you know, doesn't have to sleep or slumber. But, but he rests and refresh. That, but that rest and refresh is completely different to how you're how? saying it. Tell me. You're how? saying God. You're you're saying that God is fatigued. God's not fatigued. No, God. No, I you don't know, say that. Allah you, says that. Quran yeah. says God doesn't have no fatigue is touched. So, your Bible say he rests. The, the same God there. Did you read it? It's a different God. Did you read it? Yeah, yeah. He, he rest, say he, he rest, rest and refresh. Yeah. So when you rest and got refreshed, what are you achieving by getting refreshed? Refresh when you lose your energy you're, you're, and you get your energy back. No, you yes. know, that doesn't mean refreshed. I can I can sit down. Do you want me to open the dictionary for I, you? I, I, I can, see what refresh is. I can sit down and be refreshed. I can sit down and be refreshed just by breathing. You're denying the fact what the Bible is saying. The Bible is very clear. It can be that. food. It can no, be no. drink. It doesn't have to be though. Listen. Being refreshed. I, I, got, I rested and got refreshed. Anyone yeah. knows what it means. I yeah. rest and refresh. Meaning, and I rest for what? What I was doing. And then I got refreshed. Yeah. Meaning you got your energy back. Yeah. That's what it means. Allah no. is denying that. No, you can't. You can't. And your whole. You can't indeed. say that the God of the Bible. Um, because here, here, here is us, Jesus, on your side. No. To restore strength and animation, Thank to you. revive, to renovate, to restore or maintain by renewing supply, or to arouse or stimulate. Okay. Now that arousal, hang on a sec. Arousal or stimulate. If I work very hard and I've got all my energy, I can carry on working. But I want to sit down and just enjoy. Want to stimulate? Enjoy, enjoy what stimulate I'm looking Stimulate getting at. your energy back. No, no, no. That doesn't mean getting your energy back. Yes, it does. Stimulate can. No, no. When you when you're stimulated, when you when you're aroused, you are you're enjoying. You're enjoying what you're you're doing. So when you get aroused in the act of sex, you are you're not you're not getting your energy back. You're spending your energy. 
when you're getting aroused. Yes. You're, you're, you're losing energy. No, you're not. You're not losing energy. Yes, you, you're getting you, energy. You say you're spending energy. If you're losing, you're losing your if you're losing, your you're losing energy when you're having a shag, you're, then okay, I promise okay, okay, okay. you, you're not doing it hang, right. Hang on a minute. Hang on. No, you're, you're, one you're, second, you're one getting second, a second, whole one conversation one second. involved Listen. in in the minutia of semantics. The secret is in the context. The secret is in the context. Okay. Now the context of the Bible. You like to talk, don't you? No, no. I love to talk. When you finish, nearly as much as you. Because nearly as much as you. Because you've gone over the subject. Talk over the, truth. the subject that we no, were originally over. discussing. When you finish, you, when what's you finish, the subject let me know. we were Don't originally talk over discussing? Me, I'll let you speak. What's the subject we I'll were originally speak. discussing? I'll let you speak. The subject was of six days of creation versus seven days of uh, versus uh, what um, Exodus says to what Genesis says. The Genesis and the Exodus story of creation are six days with God resting on the seventh day. God resting on the seventh day is clearly what he says he's doing and he's done Let me do he's word. done and according to his plan he's worked it out however the quran says six How days and eight days of creation i was resting like his god rested so i was resting as well ah, and so we can you okay, as well. the muslim copied hey. quran from torah hey, and bible are you okay i'm fine i'm Good. very well. cold cold yeah where's your head where's your head Hat. Yeah, put your hat on. Listen. Then I cannot hear you. Listen. Now I'm going to read the verse. Exodus 31:17. I am the Messiah. It, it is a sign forever. I am brother, Messiah. Brother, brother, brother one I'll be gone. It is I a, am the Messiah. And I am so honored to meet you. And very well, very well. Okay. Here we go. Exodus 31:17. It is a sign forever between me and the people of Israel that in six days the Lord made heaven and earth and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed so rest and refresh comes together so the context is clearly telling us that he got rested and was refreshed so how rest and refresh understood is when you when you rest when you get tired when you stop from something and after rest you got refreshed meaning with that rest it made you refresh not that you spend something you you done nothing and then you got refreshed it's clearly understood by anyone that meaning you got your energy back and allah is denying this and this is one example your new testament is clear you you boast about it that jesus is the son of god yes yeah jesus is the begotten son of god he's the son of god he's even god you say that and what allah is saying in the quran those who say messiah is the son of god has done shirk okay yep it's like blasphemy shirk so in that verse of the quran one second let me finish my point when allah says allah does not have a son or anyone who say messiah is the son of god has committed shirk so that one or two verses of the quran rejecting your hundreds of verses of the bible of your injil and of your torah wherever it says because we are the sons of God, children of God, or He is the Father. But so we do what we know why. We reject, know why it's no, 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 but when you say Quran endorsed Bible, you are wrong. Quran is clearly not endorsing whole Bible at all. Okay, let's be clear here now. Let's be clear, because now now it's busted. Quran 31. Huh? Uh, the Bible Exodus 31. Yes. Verse 17. You asked me to read. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And. Um, Let's just put this in context. Uh, verse 6. Oh, verse 16. 16 okay. Therefore, the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath to observe the Sabbath throughout the genera generations as a perpetual covenant. Then you, the part you left out, it is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever. Mm -hmm. For in six days the Lord made the heavens and the earth, I read all of it. and the seventh day he rested and refreshed. So God is using the seventh day to rest and refresh as a rest sign and refresh. to and Israel. Rested and was refreshed. Rested and was refreshed. Yeah, was refreshed. purely semantics. So no, in no. the context, is this important. is about the Sabbath. This is God speaking to Moses saying, Speak to the children of Israel saying, Surely my Sabbaths you shall keep. It is a sign between me and you. Yeah, yeah. The word sign comes up three times in this chapter. And so what God is saying, you're saying that because you're picking up two words, rest and was refreshed, 
and you're saying that proves that God, um, the, the, the Torah is not genuine. This is a corrupted word of God. We don't believe because God, God needs to rest or God needs to be refreshed. I know you don't believe that. You believe but that God needs to be refreshed? I believe that whatever God says in this word is yeah. true. That's and that there's Quran a, is a, a not corrupted. That word. No, the Quran, the Quran goes idea. directly against this word. The Quran is rejecting this idea. You, That's you, what I'm saying. You and I have just had a conversation about Mary not being able to, Mary not being able to, uh, Mary being able to have a son without by, a companion, and, and Allah saying he can't. No, so Allah if, doesn't say he can't. Okay. No, no, Allah doesn't. You are exegesis again. So therefore, if you're, Allah you're doesn't say he can't, could Jesus be the Son of God? If Allah wants, anyone can be. No, absolutely. You can't. Actually, this guy's just said he's the Messiah. The Quran, is he the Messiah? Actually, the Quran says that. No, no, he's a liar, of course. Of I, course. I can tell that. He's a yeah. What I'm saying is, Quran is clearly says that. Oh, Muhammad say, if Allah, if Allah had a son, I would be the first one to worship him. And your Bible is full that Jesus is a son, son, son. Yeah. So that one word, Muhammad yeah. was saying, if Allah had a son, I would be the first one to worship him. And Allah say, Allah does not have a son. Allah is father to no one. So that two, three verses of the Quran, you're rejecting every single statement of the Bible where it says God is the Father or Jesus is the Son. So by saying that Quran endorsed Bible, not at all. What Quran says, Quran is the watcher, Muhaymin, over the scriptures. Meaning a watcher, meaning wherever there's an error, Quran corrects it. Like another, another word used for Quran is, hello brother, how are you, right? Another word used for Quran is Furqan. You know, Furqan means criteria to judge right from wrong. Quran is a Furqan. So wherever there's a right from the Bible, we take it. It goes with the Quran. Any anything goes against 180 degrees to the Quran, we rejected it because the Quran is a Furqan. I a know this. You're, gi you're giving so me a lesson Quran in history. Indoors. No, the, the Quran doesn't. Endorse the Quran the does. The Quran says, "Go and speak to the people of the book." How many times does the Two Quran times. speak about? Two times he says that. Yeah. And it never, you know why, it you know never, says that? it never says the Bible is corrupted. So clearly, it what does. you have here, it no, it never, it does, it never says uh, the words. Uh, uh, no. It says people corrupted the Bible. Who are it the doesn't people? say. It doesn't matter. The people, it's any people, whether it's Jews or Christians, yeah, yeah. they can corrupt it. But they are speaking and corrupting what's there. When, when Muhammad, Muhammad had a copy of the Bible because he was illiterate and he couldn't read. He couldn't read the Bible, but there were copies of the Bible extant when Muhammad was alive. So the textual criticism that you're wanting to employ against the Bible that has been going on for like four or five hundred years has never been done on the Quran. But when it is done on the Quran, like now the last 20 years, what there are is there's huge holes, are doing for over huge holes years. in the narrative. A lot of Europeans have done that. They, they, the history of the Quran, not they properly, write books. not using uh, Germans and French. A lot of uh, historians, or sorry, what do you call it, Orientalists. They haven't used they, the same they methodology to textually criticize sure you the Quran you as they have uh, yeah. with the Bible. The sure. Bible is is still standing. Watch your back. They're still standing um, with the. Um, they're still standing with the. Uh, the Bible still stands on the Word of God, proved by things like the Dead Sea Scrolls. Um, so, so Abbas, you, 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 your foundation, listen, listen. No, your no. foundation is, is very lacking. Can I reply? Yeah. First of all, you quote that thing that go to the people of the book. Yeah. If you have any doubt. Yeah. That word is used twice in the Quran, and both occasions, if you see the context, context is this. Allah says in chapter 10, verse 94, you're thinking, and chapter 21, verse 7 or 17. Both times Allah is saying, we have rescued the people of the scripture. We have rescued them, yeah? If you have a doubt what we have revealed to you, go and ask the people of the book. What Allah is saying, the word, one verse before Allah is saying, we have rescued the children of Israel, is, is the story is telling. So if you have a doubt, talking to Muhammad Sassam even, even to anyone, what we just revealed to you, what we revealed to you, if you have doubt, go ask the people of the book. So we go and ask the people of the book, is that true that God has rescued you from there? And they confirm, yes. No. And another, one second, one second, we, I, no, I no. haven't finished my point. Yeah. Another place Allah says, the, all the messengers were human beings. They were men. All the messengers were men. Chapter 21, verse 7, I think. Uh, sorry, 7 says, and if you have a doubt, go and ask the people of the book. So chapter 21, verse 7, it says, 
all the messengers of hell. So in these two conditions, if you have a doubt what we should say, it's not talking about everything else. Like if you doubt in your book, go and ask other people of the book. So what I'm saying to you, another place has told you, Quran again and again and again tells us the Bible has corruptions in it by quoting that Allah does not have, Allah is the father to no one. No, that doesn't say corruptions. That's another no, subject. No, 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 that's another subject. No, no, no. That's not anything to do. I, that is, look, I, I, I'll, quote you, I'll quote you one hadith. Hey, brother, how are you? Right? Yeah, yeah, brother, Rafa. I'll quote you this hadith now. You, you quote me one hadith, the Prophet had a Bible. You've been speaking a lot. You've been speaking a lot. No, but I, this is my last one. Let, let my, me, last one. My, no. last, my last one. My last one. Abbas, no, give me one thing. Give no, me one. Let last, me ask you after, one question. After this hadith. Because you know what? I want brother, you to find the truth. This, let me, brother, let me ask you one question. Brother, no. If no. God cannot have a son, if he if you say that, Quran doesn't say he cannot. No, no. I'm not talking about the Quran now. You don't believe that Jesus is the son of God. You believe Jesus is the Son of God? No, he's not. Okay, so Allah you believe Allah's that Father, Jesus no is not the Son of God? Say Messiah is the Son so of God. Where it says here, where it says here in Exodus 23, when it says, God says to Moses, Behold, I send an angel before you to keep you in the way and to bring you to the place which I have prepared. Beware of him and obey his voice. Do not provoke him, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. Mm -hmm. What could that mean, do you think? What does that mean? Who is that angel of the Lord? Oh, because he's all over the Old Testament, the angel of the Lord. Exodus 23, yeah? Exodus 23 from verse 20. And it says, But if you indeed obey his voice and do all you that I speak, before you to guard you on the way and to bring you to the place which I have prepared. Give heed to him and hearken to his voice. Do not rebel against him. For he will not pardon your transgression, for my name is in him. So it's talking about some, it, 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 it definitely, as a Muslim, I can see, this is everything is said about any messenger coming. Any messenger of God comes, because he is a messenger of God, so follow him. Whatever so he which, tells you. which messenger does God say to anywhere? No, which the messenger does God say to? It doesn't say God's son. It doesn't say God's son. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I agree with you. Yeah. I'm saying it doesn't say God's son. Even I agree if with you. Say you say that, but, what I would say as a Muslim. You know but what I would even say? more worse than God's son, even more worse, what it does say here, it says, beware of him and obey his voice. I'll come back to that. Do not provoke him, for he will not pardon your sins, your transgressions. Mm. For my name is in him. But if you indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, so that. The angel of the Lord is speaking, doing all that I speak, but he's also pardoning their transgressions as they're coming out of Egypt. So how, how does the, the Muslim community... Pardoning their tran transgression, it says that? What? Yeah, it says pardoning their tran transgression. Yeah, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. If you provoke him, he will not pardon your transgressions. And that's why we're here today. So I want to say to you, uh, if you do not call upon the name of Jesus, he can't pardon your transgressions, you're going to hell. The only way you can get out of hell my, is to call on the name of my, Jesus. My very nice, good-hearted, simple brother. First of all, even if he says that, Jesus, if he mentions the name of Jesus, what I as a Muslim would say, it's a corruption because Allah of course says, yeah, yeah. that's I, your I, only out no, no, no. you've got three outs as Muslims you no, have three because, outs because my yardstick is Quran no uh, my, my yardstick, yardstick is the Bible is fair enough so I'm saying to you those people who think this is their yardstick who are they apart from you and you you see so this no, no. is what you do when who? you come to speaker's corner yeah. you will quote scripture when it suits you when I quote scripture to you this this scripture then you say it's corrupted no, no, no. When did I ever? So, when uh, did what I ever, would happen if I used that I standard? Took, when, tell me. You when told, did I ever took a side of the Bible on my favor? When, when you when said that second, God one, rested one, one, and He was. When you said God was rested no, no. and refreshed, then you used it on your no, side. I'm saying your Bible says that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't believe in that. I'm rejecting that. So there's nothing that I can say from my Bible no, no. to speak to you. No, no, no. You can say whatever you like. Yeah. But you must understand that my Yashik, my Quran, yes. Yeah. And Sunnah of the Prophet. So my Quran say it's a Muhaymin, watcher over everything. So if we go anything goes against the Quran, I naturally will reject it. Unless you show that what are you telling me is a fact, proven fact, then Quran would be but wrong. The Quran, one second, but the, no, one second. What I was gonna say is this. Me, you believe in this, 
I don't believe in this. Now you should ask the same question those people who believe in Exodus. Who are they? Jews. No, Christians. No, 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 no. no. Jews believe in Exodus as well. And, yeah. and, and yeah. Christians, yeah. So I want to know what Jews make of this verse. This verse, Exodus Exactly. I you want to come with me? We're going to ask them. No, no. When I asked Joshua here, no, no, no. you know Joshua. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is it? When I asked him, he says, "I don't know. I will. I'll get the information and come to you." Okay. Because what they That's say, not very knowledgeable what they about say, it. yeah. But you see, he, this is the politics. pre-incarnate revelation of Christ, right there. Yeah. That is Jesus. That is what we believe. Well, I like to see what a uh, learned Jew say, but but listen, why? Listen. Why? What difference does no, it make? No, because they believe in this book. I don't. No, no. But what does God say in no, His but revelation? I don't believe in this book. So you're saying when it says when God says, "My word and my name is above everything else," you're saying that God can't God can't contain His word. No, he can't protect His I word. I totally agree with that statement. The God's word is above anything else. God's word and His name. Absolutely. I I okay. I hundred percent agree with you, Salini. There is nothing great. There is okay. nothing greater than God's word and God uh, Himself, uh, His word or His name. I agree with you. But what I'm saying is, as a Muslim, why why are you following her? Why are you following her? Why are you following her? You intimidating her. Stop intimidating her. She's walked away from you. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. You don't need to watch. Just leave her alone. You're walking around following her. You don't need to be like that. You can be nice. Christianity says so many things. Christianity says don't follow Allah. So what I'm saying is, God's words never change. Quran says that. Yeah, His kalamat. But what we saying is, what Allah says in the Quran is kalama means his his promise. Kalama has many different meaning. So when God promised something, for example, Jesus will come. Yeah. He will be Messiah. Yeah. Even if Jews take out from the books, throw it away, burn it, that promise will never change. Amen. It was, it was Amen. So now become a Christian. No, no, no. He but was, Abbas, listen to Messiah. the words you just said. No, but he was a Messiah. If God says. I know you think he's the Messiah, yeah. but you don't believe that he's your he's God. You no, don't believe don't he's believe your he's salvation. Him. No, he's not. Okay, so if you don't believe that, no. then you're saying that God is weak. No, I'm not saying that. You have to borrow. No, God, I, okay. I do not let believe. Me, let me I say do not believe you. God ever says that, which Let's, is against which okay. is against God. God never says. There's that I'm only gonna come. one God. Yes. We can't tell him who he is. He tells us who he is. Yeah, which he did. So if God has told us who he is yeah. in the Bible, now I'm talking before the Quran. Yeah. I'm talking about it. Yeah. If God revealed himself to us in the Bible, in the scriptures and history and archaeology. So archaeology, history and the scriptures all comport to there being a Jesus dying on the cross, rising on the third day. Okay. Before I'm talking about before the Quran, before the time of Muhammad. Did all of that get corrupted? What history? What history says? The history, Eusebius, Josephus, all these scribes that wrote down that Jesus was crucified on the, th on the third day. The Christians believe in him. He rose. They say he, he claimed he rose again. No one said, there's no books from that time that say he didn't rise on the third day. It's all, it's all a lie. Which book says that he rise ride on the third day? The Bible. The Bible, apart from the Bible. You say he's no, 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 there's scribes, there's Josephus, there's Eusebius, there's, schol there, there's scholars that were writing that uh, he was crucified. Was, was not eyewitness. He was they, not eyewitness. No, no, they wrote that he was crucified. There were 500 witnesses. I know, but yeah. Josephus was not right, uh, high, eyewitness. No, but he yes. wrote that yeah, it yeah. happened. Where he heard that from? He was alive at that time. No, no, but Josephus he, was no, alive at that he, time. He was an eyewitness to Jesus. Uh, Don't forget, all the Christians were being killed and murdered. So to say that Jesus that's was crucified... Again, that's again not historically proven that the, the, the Christians were murdered and, and killed. What? No, it's not. It's 11 by, of the 12 disciples died like it's that. It's written by Christians. No! We don't know, he's, he's no, 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 we don't no. know if it's true or not. Of course we know if it's true, no, it's well, history. Well, Anyway, okay. I mean that's not what, the argument. Okay. Point here if you, is, if you go, whatever he's writing, no, no. if you're going to go, if you're going to keep on diversifying and deviating no, off the course. No, because you're adding new things into no, it. That's why it's okay. I, you're adding new things. No, you I'm asking you a killed. question. Okay, what's the point? If then? all of these Christians and all of these people were killed 700 years before the Quran was existed, mm -hmm. before Muhammad was born, mm -hmm. did God take 
were, did God allow all the Romans, all the things corrupt scripture? No, no, God led. There is there are devil in the world, yeah. Even Jesus, your Bible says that there will many come with show you signs and wonders. Yes. And they you know, false prophets will come, show you signs and wonders. And lead many astray. Yeah. Even, the, even the learned ones, yeah? yeah. So devils, demons, we believe, have powers yeah. to mislead many people. Look yeah? at Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Not Muhammad. Muhammad, but, uh, Muhammad, uh, Muhammad for me uh, is a false prophet. Talking about diversion. He's the best false prophet. Talking about diversion. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that God's words can be manipulated by the devils and demons, by, by human beings. Yeah? yeah. So yes, they can corrupt what, what, what the reality, what the truth is. And that's what exactly we Muslims are saying that. Plus you bring in history. You say history is, it is the evidence of Jesus' resurrection. No, yeah. it's not. Yes, of course. No, no, it's not. It's a because, historical fact. Because even in your Bible, the only person who says that Jesus ascended and 500 people were watching him. Yeah? Yeah. You know who said that? Who? You, you don't know who no. said that? The only one person said that, that's Paul. Oh. Hang, hang on. <laughs> and Paul was not the eyewitness. And ironically, when he's saying it, no, no, no. One second. Ironically, no. when he's saying it, he's lying. You no, know why? You're, you're, Nobody you're, tells you're a lie. Putting, you're putting Paul and Jesus on trial now. I don't do that anymore. What? I don't have these conversations. No, but I'm saying that ascension. There is no historical no, no. fact. No, 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 no. That's all fact. It's historical fact. This is no history. No. When was the Great Wall of China built? I don't know. I haven't read about it much. The Great Wall of China was built between the Old and the New Testament. It was built about 400 years before Christ walked on the planet. Really? Yeah. Plato, Socrates, did they live before no, no, Jesus I, or after him? No, no, before, yeah. yeah okay, yeah, so yeah, yeah. all of these things, all of these things happened before. So history verifies those things through archaeology. And no you, history verifies that Jesus got ascended and now went up to heaven. No does that. history verify that the Great Wall of uh, China was built? Yeah, it, it does verify history. Does yeah. history verify that Christ was crucified? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So we're not uh, disagreeing. No, we're talking then. about ascension. Okay. Huh? We're talking about ascension. Yes, I, I'm history getting there. I'm verify. getting there. Okay. So we, we agree that Christ was crucified. No, no. History says that. But the history doesn't accept miracles. History doesn't accept miracle, And we say that there was a miracle took place. That somebody looked like Jesus. And that's, that's what Allah says. That's what the Quran says. Exactly. I'm speaking before the, the Quran. The Quran is not saying what he's before saying. the Quran. Quran is not going no, to I'm struggle. speaking history. before the Quran. Quran. Long before okay, the Quran. Okay, okay. At the time of yeah, Christ, yeah, yeah. the history that was written, when they speak about the disciples and the Christians that were killed in the circus, why were they killed? Why were they murdered? Which disciples got killed in the circus? All, all, all of which, all, which of the twelve got killed in the circus? No, I'm not talking about oh, those disciples. I'm oh, talking about uh, followers of Christ. The followers of Christ. Oh. Yeah. yeah and, but but the, eleven of the twelve disciples were killed for what? For what reason? No, no we don't know if they got killed or not. We, we do. No. Peter was crucified upside down. Says who? It says the Bible and no, and Bible and, and history. Of Bible course. Doesn't say about that. what was happening in that, that time. Peter was killed in the Bible. It doesn't say that. Uh, okay, so you deny all of that. No, but the Bible doesn't say that at all. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, even, even because, the because there's, there's, uh, there's historical up, documents. That's, I would say that's a made-up story made by Christians to make it like <laughs> look like special that everybody give their lives for uh, yeah. and all that. Okay. But listen, that's not the argument. I'm saying that no history. That, no history says there's that no Jesus, point, there's Jesus no got ascended in the anymore. heaven. There's so no are, point speaking you, anymore. So you want to bring no, because if I, if I bring history into it, then you can just turn around and say it's a made-up story by Christians. No, but when you say history... Josephus wasn't a Christian. Neither was Eusebius. And he was not eyewitness as well. No, but now you're talking about... We're talking about eyewitness no, to you, other things. Nobody, when you say... He was an eyewitness to followers of Jesus yeah. being killed in the circus. He was an eyewitness to the Roman candles. Christian being burnt. Uh, 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 and sets a light and, and coated with oil. So they saw these things. They saw Christians being killed. Why were Christians being killed? Why were they being tortured? Why were they being fed to the lions? Why did they die in their droves? Because I can tell you the reason they might die. They might got killed by the Romans because Christians were the one who were rejecting all the false gods. 
they, okay. were, they were rejecting all Roman false gods right. and really annoying them much. Even the Jews used to reject from the past, yeah. but the Jews were very much established in the Roman society yeah. as a special people. Okay, so, so let's go with that. So the Christians, the Christians, are, Christians, the Christians ones, are being killed Christians because the they don't accept Apollo, they, were not they won't going, pray to them. They were not going to the, you know, the main events used to happen in Rome and everybody going there yeah. and whatever they're giving, Christians were staying away from that. So why do, why do you think they, they, they didn't do that? No, because Why? They, they believe there is only one God. They believe in the true prophet Jesus teaches them there is only one God. Okay, before that, uh, we're not God. talking about they Muhammad. They very strict on monotheism. No, Thomas, Tom, no they, that's not true. Because they, they, no, they, they said they that, got killed. I'm saying, I'm saying this is what it got And I agree with you on that. They got killed because they wouldn't worship Apollo and Zeus and all of the Isis and the, all, all of those gods and Diana. But and Jews were also their enemies as well. Yeah, these yeah. were Jews, brother. Yeah. These were Jews. No, no, but many the Jews, early Christians no, majority, were Jews. The majority of Jews were enemies of the followers of Christ. Do you agree with me? The majority of Jews were enemies of the followers no, of Christ. No, no, not the majority. They wanted to kill him? Yeah, the, the Jews wanted to kill him. The Pharisees and the Sadducees. Well. Yeah. The Pharisees and the Sadducees. Were, uh, you know I'm Jewish, right? Okay. But you know that. Okay. My father's a Jew, my mother wasn't. So Christian, I'm Jewish. I'm a Christian. When I, when I talk to you about the early Jews, 500 in one day in the book of Acts coming to know God. The first 17 bishops of Jerusalem were all Jewish. No, no, I'm not, so, saying, I'm not saying that the Christians were not Jews in the past. I know, but you, you won't let me reach the point no, that I'm, I'm trying it, to reach. I'm saying that Christians were a minority, very little minority. Even if they were Jews, but the majority of Jews That's were not fine. Christians. That's fine. That's what I'm but the point that you're trying to avoid and you're running away from is these but Christians... I'm really getting cold. I need to go. Brother, God bless you. Nice to meet you. God bless you. Okay. God bless you. Nice to speak. Okay. Cheers. The point that I'm trying to make here is why would Christians die? I told you, I told you they were not following Roman gods. Yes, no, 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 no. I'm coming to my point now. Why would they die instead of just going, okay, we'll, we'll worship Zeus. Okay, we'll worship Apollo. Why did they believe so emphatically that Jesus was God? So does Jews believe that emphatically as well. But I said that Jesus was God. No, 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 no. Believing in all monotheism. No, no, but I'm not speaking about the Jews. I'm speaking about the Christians okay, that I, died because of what was, um, because of the uh, um, not worshipping the Roman gods. Why is it that you think that if Jesus wasn't resurrected, if Jesus didn't ascend, if Jesus didn't have the stone rolling away from the thing, why would they go and die and be tortured? Be tortured no, no, no. and their de and their w their wife killed I just, no, I in answer, front of them. I answer you already because they became monotheists. They follow one God. So the Christians, they yeah. early Christians, they become monotheists. They believe in one God and they reject all Roman gods. The so Romans went after them. Romans, even the argument can be, why Romans didn't kill Jews? Jews were the same, but Jews were already established in the Roman society. Uh, we beat through that. Was, no, no, no. This We're is, going this over, and over. This is very important to understand. You, 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 you actually ignore the fact what I'm trying to say. So Christians become the target of the Romans. They say, Jews, okay, we accept that, yeah? They are, they are not worshipping our God. But who are these people? That's why they become target on top of Jews are telling Romans that they are the enemy of the state. Yeah. You should do something about it. I've got so, it. So, so that's the reason Christians were killed and they were not as killed as many as you are trying to say. But you don't understand no, what I'm saying. As, they were not killed everywhere. You completely missed the point. Barter, the point I'm I, trying I, I to read, make I, to you. I read book of Barter many no, no, that wait, he wait, explained wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. They, they, wait Christians, wait. Christians no, were no. not killed as, as everywhere. The main point not. that I'm trying to make, you refuse to listen to. The main point I'm I trying to make. I understand what you said. No, I you haven't. You because you keep on going over the same thing. My point okay, is, what did I say? why, why would the Christians and I told you. go to their death and I told you. over um, uh, not confessing? No, no, what you tell I me told is that you even the they're Jews, not worshipping their gods. Yes, no. And they were a new community That's and not they become what easy I'm saying. They That's become not easy what I'm saying. I agree with you. Yeah. Step one, they're not worshipping their gods. Now they're going to be killed. If Jesus didn't ascend, if Jesus wasn't God, why no. didn't the Christians just say, ah, you know what, we'll follow. No, no. Why were they so emphatic in following Jesus? Because they believe in Jesus as the messenger of God. They believe everything Jesus says. That's why they gave their lives 
and not going against what Jesus says. We Muslims saying Jesus was the messenger of God and he was a messenger of God. His, his teachings were fresh and people saw him. That's 700 and, years and, later. And they believe. <laughs> That's 700 years God. later, no, no. you Muslims. No, no, no. We, we are saying, we accepting that, that Jesus was the messenger of God. So, so in that, keeping that in mind, they Jesus, were killed Jesus because he, they had said he was a messenger. Jesus followers. If, if they had said he was a messenger, those Christians, then you could have, then you'd have a case. And they didn't say God. that. No, they didn't no, say that. Who says that now? Uh, yeah, who's saying that? Yeah, the whole Bible says that. No, no, no. The whole. Come on, you're show being me, ludicrous now. Show me in the Bible. Up to now, person, up to now, apart from you've, been, person, give you've life. been very reasonable. <laughs> Did the Christians say that Jesus was God? Uh, original disciples, I don't believe they say that. Okay, what is a Christian? That's, that's why. That's what why. is what is a Christian? Follower of Christ. No, Christian is Christ's one. Christ's one. So when you've got a prophecy, Christ's one is a Christian. No, follower of Christ. The meaning of Christian is a follower of Christ. What does Christ mean? Christ be the Messiah. Okay. The anointed one. So the anointed one and Christian means Christ's one, follower of Christ. Yeah. It means Christian. But we believe that Jesus is the Messiah, not the Messiah in uh, the sense of being a messenger. No Christian went to I their death. Say, I know you said no, that. No, no, no. I'm talking about the early Christians. Those disciples and the followers of Christ, they didn't say Jesus okay. is a messenger. That's not why they were so killed. There were early they Christians said who Jesus. Disagreed. They said Jesus. You know, early Christians no, 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 no. no. That's another subject. No. That's not another Jesus subject. Jesus said the Christians believed that Jesus was God. Abunais didn't. They called him God. Abunais didn't worship I'm Jesus. not interested in those. So I'm talking were, about the majority of Christians. The majority of Christians that were killed. Unitarians are also Christians. They don't worship God. No, Unitarians are not Christians. Well, you were saying that, but they they say they follow Christ, no? No, I'm I'm saying to you what I, I I'm saying to you what God how God identifies Himself. You and know, God identifies Himself. You, you read a book as of one God. Book, uh, early Christianities. There are many different Christianities. There's no one Christianity as you try to portray so, that everybody believes Jesus is God. Not everybody no, believes Jesus is God. The early, the early Catholic Church in the first hundred years all believed that Jesus was God. All of them. There was, there was, if they didn't believe that he was God, if they believed he was a prophet, that was, if they believed he was a Messiah, that is one of the, then they were safe. They wouldn't be killed. I'm talking to you today mm -hmm. about the people that were killed. That were killed in you the can't circus. Tell me from the Bible. There is nothing in the Bible. There's made up his stories. Who was the first Christian martyr? I think was his name, the young man. Was Stephen. Like Stephen, yeah, yeah. So why was Stephen killed? Why did Paul kill Stephen? Because he believed Jesus in Jesus. Is the way. Thank you. He believed in Jesus, yeah. Because he believed that Jesus. Yeah. So there, there, there's your answer in the Bible. Yeah. That's what was happening. And who was doing it? Paul. But no, no. Paul, Paul turned from being a Pharisee. Into being, um, into being a Christian, yeah. into following Christ. Why? Because he met with Christ on the road, and we've seen he's seen he, he met with Christ on anything, the on the road to, um, to. To be honest, anything Paul says, I am as a Muslim doesn't even apply to follow. Even we don't recognize the books of Paul. I know you don't. We don't. We don't. Yeah. I, I don't recognize the yeah. whole Quran. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not forcing you under that. No, I know. What, what, I'm not forcing you either. What, what I'm, I'm saying is I'm early thinking, history comports with the Bible. It doesn't comport with the Quran. That's my problem with the Quran. That's what I'm saying. What history? You know why? You know how much I'd love to be a Muslim? Eh? You know why I'd love to be a Muslim? Because your brotherhood of believers is so much stronger than the Christian brotherhood. Mm. We, 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 we're, we're too diverse. But the, the, the problem is when I look at the historical witness, they are very too much. No, no, no. But when I look at the historical evidence of the Quran, it's not there. The archaeology of Mecca, nothing. You've got nothing. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Brother, don't, brother. Don't say that. Okay. Are let you, me go. You, let's go on Amazon. That, that let's go on Amazon. Tell me what book I can get that shows me pictures of the early archaeology of a Mecca. I think there's a debate, isn't it? Uh, Dr. King and what's his name? The one who's, who's telling there's no early Mecca and all that. What's Jay Smith? No, no, the other guy. The one who wrote a book about it as well. There's many. Okay. There's many. Next week, I'll... Al-Fadi. Next week, okay. no, 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 the, the, what's his name? Yeah, I need the, to walk the, around. The one with the, with the glasses, the English al -Fadi. Oh, um The one who done this kind of things as well. Not the young man, not the younger man, the older man. 
Uh, Paul Williams know. know that. You, the that? guy who's, who, who's the writer who says there's no more early Makkah, we don't find any trace of early Makkah. No, I don't. You know, the, when the, I don't know. The, okay, you don't know. Anyway, uh, next week I'll, I'll show you. Look, so most scholars think that Mecca has existed for thousands of years. It's not, not just that. Most scholars think that Mecca existed for thousands of years. Yeah, there's some ancient Roman uh, writers who uh, reference it. Okay, and if you, if you look you on the Wikipedia, if you look on the Wikipedia article, uh, even just the Wikipedia article about the history of Mecca, it gives you references in ancient Roman writings from thousands of years ago. Are there any well, archaeological anyway. archaeological um, um, artifacts proving that Mecca existed, that have been carbon dated, that prove that Mecca was there at the time of Muhammad? Coins or anything? No, absolutely, tons of them. None. No, no, lots. None. You haven't no, got any. My, 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 no, there are. There are. Well, there's none. No, no, You've there are got lots, all these scholars. I've seen them. I've seen them. There I've seen them. There are what, lots. Bo what book can I get on 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 Amazon? They're not, they're not in books. There, there, there is an archaeological. Well, surely you've got pictures. Excuse me. These are not books. These are archaeological artifacts you mentioned. Okay. They Have you got pictures of them? Well, on me. Funnily enough. No, no. I don't. No. No. I'm <laughs> saying. What are you talking about? The city or the Kaaba? I'm talking about the the. the city. So are you a Christian? Yeah. Uh, yeah what kind of Christian so when you? you talk about so when I, you I talk about no no I, okay. I'm I'm here for conversation. Okay, bye. Okay, okay, no, I'm here for conversation, not an interrogation. Oh, come on, you're interrogating me all that time. No, no, <laughs> we had a conversation. <laughs> I'm 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 just trying to finish that conversation about the photographs of your archaeology. All I'm asking for is right. Who is God? Who is God? Only one God. Jesus. I've asked this man, what photographs do you have to prove that Mecca existed in the time of Muhammad? Please, Muslims, give me one book that I can buy on Amazon right now, which shows me that Muhammad went to Mecca and Mecca was a city. Paul Williams claims there's a lot of archaeology, there's a lot of artifacts, there's a lot of coins that prove that Muhammad was in Mecca and there were coins proving that Islam and Muhammad were in Mecca. I'm waiting. Please, Muslims, give me one book with pictures of the archaeology of Mecca in the time of Muhammad. I want to become a Muslim. I want to convert to Islam. Give me the evidence that Mecca was a city in the time of Muhammad.